Hello, I'm Stephanie Garbage, and this is your 12 o'clock news. Tonight, we bring you a story on Double R, the most popular restaurant for raccoons in downtown Indianapolis. We sent our lead reporter, myself, down to the restaurant to get a scoop on what they have scheduled for their 10th anniversary celebration. Here with me is Trasha Lancaster, the owner of the Double R. She has been working here ever since the restaurant opened 10 years ago. Tell me, Trasha, what does this night mean to you? Thank you, Stephanie. It's been a dream come true, honestly. I can't believe a double R's been open for a full decade. Sometimes I still feel like a tiny kit, scavenging the wild dumpsters with my mother and five identical twin sisters. Yes, very interesting. And what is the restaurant doing today to celebrate? Well, we thought it would be neat to have a head chef finally emerge from the kitchen and reveal his secret recipe to the public. Wow, Trasha, that is big. Raccoons everywhere have been wondering what makes Double R's food so tasty. And that's exactly why we're telling them, Stephanie. Even I don't know what the head chef does to the food. He won't tell me, but he's really proud of his work. Most of you listening may know that the head chef of Double R... Brandon Stench has kept all of his recipes extremely secretive, and very few have actually seen the face of the raccoon who has been cooking the world-famous foods the Double R serves. Luckily, our team was able to compile a couple of images of the real Brandon Stench. Uh, no, that's Brayley. And that's Brendan, not Brandon. Okay, where are you getting these photos? I'm sorry, everyone, this is truly horrible. Yes, yes, that's Brandon. Okay, thank you. Anyways, Brandon Stench. What is there to say about him? Like most ordinary raccoons, Brandon finds his ingredients in the most ordinary places. But Brandon is no ordinary raccoon. As head chef of the Double R, he is trusted with making top quality food for top paying raccoons every day. Many raccoons have speculated that Brandon's preparation methods are the key to making such marvelous meals. Our 12 o'clock news top investigator, who is also me, was able to take a peek into the kitchen at Double R when Trasha was attending to the customers. Here is the footage that I gathered. Hello? Hello? Brandon? I'm Stephanie Garbage, here with the 12 o'clock news. Are you in here? Hmm, maybe he's in the pantry. But wait, what's that on the shelf? No, it can't be. Oh my god, no. That's a, uh... This... This means that Brandon has been cooking with raccoon meat. I better check the fridge to be sure. Oh my god, it's true! I knew it! It's all true! I gotta get out of here. I have got to report this! Brandon Stench! You're a murderer? And a cannibal? Yeah, and what's it to you? Customers love my food anyway. I can't believe you, Brandon. And to think, I was going to give you custody of our kits. That was ages ago, Steph. Our litter's all grown up. You're two years old, for God's sake. You need to stop living in a delusion. I'm not the delusional one. You are. Just wait until the word gets out. Double R will be shut down and you'll lose everything. Eh, no big deal, Steph. I'll just move to the next town. You are the filth of this earth, Brandon. You'll never go to the giant dumpster in the sky with your behavior. More time to make a living down here, I suppose. Now scram, Stephanie. And keep your mouth shut, or you'll be today's New York Strip. Okay. Well, we were not supposed to show the entirety of that clip. But that's what you get here at the 12 o'clock news. Thanks for staying tuned and for celebrating the 10-year anniversary of Double R. Pretty soon, we may be celebrating their closing day. I've been Stephanie Garbage, and that was your 12 o'clock news special.